It's time for the monthly favorites again and in this video I'm reviewing these four products. One of them is even a holy grail product for me, so make sure to watch the full video to know which one. Hi guys, I'm Diana Grace, welcome! Here to help you by making it easier to approach green skincare and make you feel beautiful in your own skin. Now let's start with the favorite. This sunscreen has aloe vera, which is both hydrating and calming. I did talk a little bit about this in my first video about how to reapply your sunscreen over makeup. And I mentioned that I liked the product, but also that I was a bit surprised that it has the word water in the product name twice. And also I'm surprised that it contains the word gel in the product name. Because not that it's very heavy or greasy, but it's not that watery or gel-like, I would say. I would instead describe it as a light cream. But anyway, this is still a good product and this is actually my third tube of it. It blends well into the skin, it sits well under makeup, and it's even easy to reapply over makeup. It doesn't leave a white cast, doesn't break me out, doesn't feel greasy. It's just quite lightweight. On me, it looks kind of glowy at first, but then it dries uh, down to semi-matte. It depends on how much I use and which other skincare products I use. But for me, it's semi-matte with a little bit of glow in some places. But uh, sometimes it also dries down matte. So yeah, and it also feels quite hydrating. And not as hydrating or moisturizing as the Cosrx one, which is actually good because I do prefer that for summer. But it is hydrating enough and it is overall just a very comfortable sunscreen to use and I have enjoyed using this for the last couple of months. This is an eye serum, so you use it before your eye cream. This obviously contains aloe vera, so again, it is both calming and hydrating. I have used this for several months now, and although I can't actually see a difference in the skin around my eyes, I still have enjoyed using this product. And there are two reasons for this. Number one, it does hydrate the skin around my eyes, and I always um, appreciate that. And number two, because of the applicator, you don't even have to use your fingers for applying it. You can just roll it around your eyes and let it sink in by itself. And what I do is that I apply this after my toner or essence, and then I just let it sink in by itself while doing my serum and facial oil and then I apply my eye cream over that again. So that's just very convenient for me and I also like the cooling feeling that it gives. If you do struggle with very big under eye bags, especially when you wake up, you can store it in your fridge and then use it in the morning and I do think that it will help with de-swelling your eyes. Since I didn't actually see a difference, I don't think that I will actually repurchase it. Uh, I will at least maybe try other eye serums first, but again, I, it is a decent product and I have enjoyed using it. This is a mist that you can use both before and after applying your makeup. You can use it to intensify both the colors or sheen in your eyeshadows and highlighters. And also you can use it as a hydrating mist throughout the day. Some key ingredients are green tea, chamomile, cucumber, and caffeine. A couple of their benefits are that green tea is calming and anti-inflammatory. Chamomile has healing and brightening properties. Cucumber is hydrating and soothing, and caffeine has brightening and tightening properties. I love using this both before and after my makeup. It gives a nice cooling feeling. I appreciate the fine mist that it delivers, and also it just makes everything look more well blended, even, natural, and it gives a nice dewy glow to my skin. I love this mist and I think I'll repurchase it in the future. Okay guys, I've saved the best for last. I know this is a very hyped up product, but for a very good reason. 
It is a total game changer for my skin and it is one of my very few holy grail skincare products. This is an essence that contains 80% fermented ingredients. But now Misha has actually relaunched the product and a newer version contains 90% fermented ingredients. So now it's even better. So two other key ingredients are lactic acid and niacinamide. Lactic acid is also known as AHA and it is a chemical exfoliant that is good for evening out your skin tone and your skin texture. And niacinamide also has brightening properties. I've had this for a long time actually, for almost a year now I believe. I didn't like it in the beginning, I must admit. I felt like I was just applying plain water to my skin. I didn't notice or feel any difference in my skin. I must say though that at the time when I was testing this product out, I was introducing too many products into my skincare routine at the same time and that is not good for your skin at all and if you're wondering why you can check this video out but so yeah I was definitely not good with my skin and I think that is the main reason for why I actually didn't see any difference so I took a long break from it but I'm so glad that I gave it a second chance because now I can definitely see and feel a difference in my skin I think it only took a few weeks before I noticed the difference but the main difference that I noticed was that my skin texture was becoming so much more even and just smoother. Now I haven't really struggled that much with whiteheads and more with regular pimples but I did have some whiteheads like some small bumps around my face especially on my forehead but now I have almost no whiteheads at all and just my skin texture has become so much more smoother and also it has brightened up my skin a bit. Now there are other products that are better for brightening up my skin and yeah my discolorations after acne but I do feel that this has helped with the brightening as well. It is also hydrating which I always do appreciate and it is literally like water as I mentioned like the texture wise so it absorbs pretty fast into my skin and because it is so thin in consistency it can dive way deeper into your skin than products with thicker consistencies. But this is now a must-have product for me since I can really feel and see a difference in my skin. I am so glad that I decided to try it out once more. I will probably repurchase this again and again forever and I will most definitely recommend you to try this one out. Over to the questions of the day. Have you tried any of these products out and what are your holy grail products? It would be awesome if you would share your tips with each other and help each other out by commenting in the comment section down below. Those were the products that I enjoyed a lot recently. I hope this was helpful in any way. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the bell button if you would like you to get a notification whenever I upload a new video. As always, I hope you're having a truly incredible day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!